Uploading this image in the chat GPT ended up giving me these incredibly realistic images right here. OMG, wow, that is so crazy. 10 incredibly powerful and helpful methods. You may not have to know the most detailed prompts or become some prompt engineering wizard. Sometimes the most simple methods perform the best. In fact, today I'm going to show you a few ways to really unleash the true power of AI, but using some of the most simple ways. Now the first method, it's simple. All you need is an image, any image. It doesn't matter what the image is or even the subject or need that you have, because ultimately in the end, we're going to be able to achieve exactly what you need and get the specific AI image that you want. So there's two things that we can do. Number one, let's say we already have an image that's incredibly realistic. Great. We can use that as a reference. Or number two, let's say that we don't have a realistic image. We need to go ahead and generate one. Well, no problem, because with these two methods I'll show you, you'll see exactly how to do this. And even if the images have nothing to do with what you need, that's okay. So method number one, what we're going to do is go ahead and find an image. Now, I am in my mega prompts database. For the most amazing prompts databases, click the links in the description. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and expand this. This tiger, this is the one I was referencing today. So I'll show you exactly how I did this. And then we're going to go ahead and do both methods in real time. So remember what this image is, okay? Again, the first method is if you already have a realistic image. And the second method in which I'll show you after this, that will be for the scenario where you don't actually have a realistic image, but you need to generate one. And so now for the first method, here we are in chat GPT. This is going to be so incredibly helpful. So definitely make sure you pay attention because not only will you achieve the results that you want, you are going to get a plethora of knowledge you'll definitely want to keep for future use. So for example, the first thing I did, that same image just uploaded in the chat GPT. Now remember, I'll go over this portion quickly, but then I'll do the same exact thing in real time to show you exactly how it's done. After uploading this image, this is exactly what you want to say. This is an AI generated image, but it looks incredibly realistic. What about it makes it look so real? Now let's let the AI do all the work for us. Now remember, you're going to save any important keyword that you may use in the future. The AI image looks incredibly realistic due to several key factors. Okay, so look at all this information, all seven of these bullet points, lighting and atmosphere, depth of field, all the way down to these subtle imperfections. So what you want to do is first look in here and save anything that may have an impact for you for this image or for future images you may want to generate. Scrolling down, now here is the next thing that you want to say, perhaps one of the most important parts of this video. What kind of prompt was used to generate that image and achieve that level of realism? Right here. What specific words were used? That is exactly what you want to say. What kind of prompt was used, but then what specific words were used to generate that image in that prompt? Now, here is where it goes to the next level, and this is going to allow you to get images that look incredibly realistic. Look at this right here. To achieve this level of realism, the prompt likely included very specific keywords. Remember, specific keywords. Your prompts need to definitely contain very specific keywords, unique keywords. And speaking of keywords, that is where this unique keywords database comes in so handy because what it's going to do is over all the prompts, all of my prompt generators, what you do is anytime you locate a very specific keyword or not even a keyword, but even a specific camera or a lens that is definitely creating you some 10 X style of images, you definitely want to save those. As we come over here back in the chat GPT, it basically said that how important specific keywords can actually be. Okay. Now, the first thing I really love about this is that it's going to go ahead and give us an example prompt, AI prompt for hyper-realistic cinematic image. Okay. So it basically said, okay, I took a look at your image. It probably was generated from a prompt similar to this one. So again, look at all these keywords. If you see anything that you like, copy it and save it for later. For an example, this is a very important sentence that you may want to definitely save for future use. A few very important things in one one sentence. Number one, cinematic composition, low angle perspective, and now this lens, okay? Utilizing a lens like this, in addition to this keyword, National Geographic style photography. Scrolling down, it's not done yet. Key elements that contribute to realism. Ten incredibly 
powerful and helpful methods. So it's basically laying out the specifics, why these words matter. Look at this right here. Now it's giving you more information. Now at the end, would you like me to refine this prompt? Now what I say at the end, and this next step is exactly how I said you can go from an image of a tiger to an image of anything else. What we're gonna do is leverage the realism of that image we uploaded and now have ChatGPT do the same thing for us, but we're gonna give it a completely different subject. And that's exactly what the next step is right here. Now with the same level of realism, please create a prompt for me, but this time my subject is of a panda bear in a snowstorm. Just like that, boom, there is the full and complete prompt. Now this time, instead of a tiger, it's gonna be of a panda. Now, very quickly, before we move on to method number two, in fact, I think the second method I'm about to share with you is probably gonna be more impressive than this one right here. But first, let's go ahead and open up a brand new chat, okay? Now remember, go ahead and copy this first instruction. Brand new chat opened up. What image should I use this time? Now, let's come back over here into this database. And for an example, let's see if any of these will work. I think some of these product photos really do look fantastic, specifically with the lighting. So you would first wanna find an image, if you already have one, that are gonna have some very key characteristics that you may find helpful. Now remember, this is the first method where you may not have something off the top of your head. But let's go ahead and do this. Let's utilize this image of this modern home. We'll use this one for our first reference piece. Now what I'll do is come in here and click and drag it and drop it right in here into ChatGPT. And now it appears right there. Remember, the first instruction, here it is. What about it makes it look so real? Let's go ahead and generate this first step right here and let's see what it comes up with. So there we have this. What was the next step we should use, okay? So it gave us all the information. Remember, what kind of prompt was used? What specific words were used? Hit enter. Let's see what this comes up with now. Now it's giving me just the one response, but nonetheless, look at this right here. Fantastic. I'll start off by getting the example AI prompt. Okay. So with that said, let's go ahead and copy this. I really like what Google Imagine 3 can do. So I'm going to do this in Imagine 3. Okay. Same prompt. I'm also going to do it as well in Mystic 2.5. But right off the bat, look at this. Already these images, here are the ones in Imagine incredible realism, incredible job, exactly what I was wanting. That's just from the example prompt that it gave me of that modern house. Remember, the end goal, we're gonna get a prompt with a completely different subject, but I first wanted to test out the prompt to see if the one chat GPT gave me really is incredible realism. Let's see what Midjourney gave to us. Oh, but first, wait, here we go. Wow, Mystic 2.5 flexible, incredible incredible. Now, if you really like this one, I would even then upscale it. Once you upscale it, it's going to take the realism to a whole nother level. Now, let's see what Midjourney did. Wow, unbelievable. In Midjourney, same thing. Incredible realism right there in all of these images of that modern home. Beautiful job. Back over here into ChatGPT. We got the example prompt. Let's continue the scroll. It's going to give us all of the keywords. Again, save any of these ones. Soft natural sunlight, realistic shadows and reflections, hyper detailed, very good information to keep. Okay. And now let's replace the subject. Here we have it. Now with the same level of realism, please create a prompt for me. But this time my subject is... Let's go ahead and remove Panda Bear and say this. I really want to see how good of a job it can do with people. So what I said is beautiful woman, 24 years old, fashion, model, okay? It doesn't even have to be that detailed. Breathtakingly beautiful 24-year-old fashion model. This prompt is going to be three paragraphs long. So we're going to go ahead and copy this in. Why this prompt ensures realism. Again, anything that we see, we're going to utilize for future use cases. Now, that was the first method. That's if you already have a realistic image. Now, moving on to method two, what if you need one because you don't have a realistic image to use as reference? But first, look at the images we just got in free pick utilizing Mystic. Man, these look incredible. The realism, the lighting, and the shadows. I love how this turned out. And now here is an image we got in Midjourney. The level of detail, the eye color, and even the freckles, and even those pores on her cheek. Okay, now moving on. Let's go ahead and open up a brand new chat. And now we're going to go ahead and start with method number two. And we're going to do this in one of two ways. Now check this out. Now the first method is, let's go back over here in the free pick. We're going to start with something very simple. We're going to enter in this very specific prompt, okay? 
just this, the most realistic image in the world. That's all we're going to do to start with this one, okay? Free pick. Now let's go over in the mid-journey. And now over here in mid-journey, same exact thing. Very simple. The most realistic image in the world. Now in chat GPT, you can also say this. Provide a prompt that will generate the most realistic image in the world, okay? Now, this isn't necessarily the prompt we're going to use for this second method, but utilizing chat GPT in this method is somewhat of like a plan B. Now, here we go. It automatically gives us a prompt. I have no idea what the subject is for, but remember, method number two is to help you get a image if you already may not have one. So that's the prompt chat GPT gave us. I have no idea what the subject is. Nonetheless, back over here in mid journey. Now this is incredibly impressive. Remember in mid journey, I just said the most simple thing, the most realistic image in the world. And now just like that, look how incredibly realistic this is. I don't know what the subject is, but remember that's more of like a painting. Now to change things up and to get even more precise, instead of saying the most realistic image in the world, because that can include an illustration, you can say then the most photorealistic photograph in the world. Now let's do the same method and say the most photorealistic photograph in the world. Back in the mid journey, look at what we got with these right here. Now, if you don't have an image, these are the images that you could use going forward, okay? So I used the tiger one earlier. Now you can go through some of these and now use one of these images and do the same exact process we did the first time. Let's see what we got in free pick. That's pretty realistic. And this one is as well. Wow, I think this one did a phenomenal job. And now we get some other pretty cool looking scenic style images like this right here. Back over in the chat GPT, let's go ahead and try this prompt it gave us. Remember, we just said provide a prompt that will generate the most realistic image, paste it in. But now again, let's go back to chat GPT because what we want to do this time is now open up a new chat. And now instead of saying provide a prompt that will generate the most realistic image in the world, we're going to say provide a prompt that will generate the most photorealistic photograph in the world. Okay. Now we're going to get a secondary prompt and this time it should be more of like a true photograph. Now you could do the same thing moving forward. Let me give you a couple examples. So for one, you can say things like the most realistic image in the world of a modern home or the most realistic photograph or photorealistic image of a type of scenery, the beach, woman, or any image that you want. You could even go a step further and give ChatGPT at first a very specific style. So that's what you can do is if you don't want to use a generic prompt, okay, I would say at the end, provide a prompt that will generate the most photorealistic photograph in the world of a supercar. You can also include a subject at the end. Now, if we come back in the mid journey, we can take a look at these images we got. Based off the prompt ChatGPT gave us, we can go ahead and copy this, right? And say for an example, that we wanna replace our subject. Instead of a middle-aged man, we can replace it with anything else. So what I'll do is I'll take this prompt, I'll copy it, and I'll change the wording and subject around for something I want, and then we'll take a look at the final result. Okay, that's pretty incredible. So utilizing this method allowed me to generate all these images that you're seeing behind me right now. This has been one of the most simplest, but yet impressive methods I've been using for generating very realistic AI images. So let me know if this worked for you in the comments below. And remember, if you did like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching. Yeah.